Hello, citizens of the planet. Welcome back to Monday Musings with Larry Lelly. And this week's topic is orchestra conductors and the response that the musicians have within the orchestra to that specific conductor. And um, I'm talking about this this week because recently there was an article that was published uh, which discussed this, this fact that sometimes orchestras for one reason or another will will play the sound that they will play will be slightly delayed from what the conductor is showing in their beat pattern so to say and it's something that we all here in the musical community here in New York City we all discuss at length <laughs> because it's something that we deal with on a daily basis and um, especially playing on Broadway where you may be working with many different conductors either with the same orchestra or working with many different conductors with with many different orchestras every orchestra will relate and respond to a specific conductor in a different way and it's one of the trickiest things about being a professional musician here in New York City working in so many different orchestras with different conductors so, um, and there, you know, the reasons for that vary. One of them is a physical one, the actual physics of sound. There is a slight delay with certain instruments in the amount of time it takes to produce a tone on that instrument. You know, say like with a tuba, it's just a larger instrument. It takes a lot more air to get through all those windy tubes and everything and finally produce a sound opposed to um, all the percussionist instruments where we pretty much, it sounds almost immediately when we, it, when we strike whatever instrument we're playing. Um, we have a, the percussion family has a very fast response time. Uh, and string players may be a little slower as well. It takes, it takes a, a, just a few milliseconds more to actually draw the bow across the string and to produce a sound. So that may be one of the reasons. Another one of the reasons may be that the, that the orchestra just collectively decides that they are going to play together, play musically. Perhaps they don't like what the conductor is showing them or uh, they have an erratic conductor or they've just decided for whatever reason, like we really don't care. We, we know this, this Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. We've played it a hundred times, we know how it goes. You can kind of shape us if you want, Mr. Conductor or Mrs. Conductor, but we're gonna play it how we know it's supposed to go. You know, that could happen too. So it's been interesting to discuss this article and the concept with all the musicians uh, that I'm working with on a regular basis. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.